Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome back again to The Cloud Show. We have a wonderful episode today because it's about skills. And you know how much I like to talk about cloud skills. So um, have you ever kind of wondered, what does it actually take to become good at doing cloudy things? Like, OK, so I don't know much yet about cloud. I need to learn. I guess I need to on-ramp to the cloud. How do I do that? Well, let's talk to Dr. Logan Song today, who has not only done that, built his own cloud career. He's only also, you know, written the book about it. So welcome, everyone, to another episode of The Cloud Show. Well, hello there. Hi, how are you? I'm very good. <laughs> I should be asking you. I'm, I'm happy to have you on the show here today, uh, Logan. Um, I, I I love this topic, so I'm I'm excited that you have written a book about this. Thank you. Thank you for yeah. having me here today. Yeah, no worries. Um, before we start talking about the book and the the intent of the book and why you wrote that, um, and and literally literally start talking about building a cloud career, right? Um, and then uh, let's let's just for the audience here, um, who are you? And and like, I know that you have a, a, an interesting story about coming to the U.S. from from China, right? You're from are you from Beijing? Uh, yeah, I, I uh, right. So I came to the United States um, 1992, and yeah. Uh, uh, yeah so uh, you know, uh, uh, in the past 20. Well, about, about 30, 30, 32 years, really time flies. I, I have, uh, you know, um, went to the school and get my PhD and then get into the IT um, domain and then gradually uh, migrated, transformed it to cloud. So it's a, it's a, it's a great uh, uh, career build, uh, uh, you know, story and, and I love it. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty much an epic journey, right? All the way from, from um, uh, studies uh, at university in, in Beijing and then moving to the US and then finding out about cloud and then onboarding to that. Yep. So uh, in a nutshell, um, I, I think if, if I, you know, uh, want to summarize my career path, um, I started, uh, you know, after I get, I get my PhD in, in uh, industrial engineering and computer science, I actually uh, moved to Wall Street to start my uh, IT career. Uh, you know, I started as a, a right. system administrator and then database administrator and net networking administrator and then storage administrator. So that paved a great foundation for yeah. information technology, you know? Yeah. You you started in 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 what's known like pre cloud IT and you had you had experience skills in pre cloud, and then all of a sudden this cloud thing started showing up, right? Exactly. So uh, the the milestone was started actually starting from VMware, right? So VMware technology virtualized everything, right? So that's adding to the you know foundation I had is the virtualization because I was actually working at EMC. And EMC mm -hmm. bought VMware, right? Yeah. So it was, it was a great story. And then, uh, you know, all this time together, and then uh, cloud computing came. So transition to cloud computing is really apply all the traditional on-prime information technology skills and knowledges to yeah. the cloud. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And and then you have taken the, the time and the effort to put that into a book. So let's... Let's name drop or drop the book name here. The 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 the, the self-taught cloud computing engineer, a comprehensive professional study guide to AWS, Azure, and GCP. That's yes. pretty ambitious. <laughs> yep. So uh, thank you. Uh, yeah, that's the, the right. So so the book is its own story, right? So. Um, after I actually I, I went so, so so okay so you know let's let's get it back a little bit step yeah. get a, a, a step back so so after I you know gained all the um, information technology traditional uh, in the data center and all those things right mm -hmm. uh, cloud computing came in and I started my cloud computing journey from Amazon AWS right so um, uh, so so that was my uh, my, my my start towards, you know, stepping towards the, the cloud. And, and the one thing I have to mention is Steve Jobs, um, you know, commencement speech at 2005, in 2005 at uh, Stanford University. That was really inspiring me to, you know, stay hungry and stay foolish, right? Yeah. And that's 
why I, you know, merged into the cloud. And mm -hmm. then after, uh, you know, three years in AWS, I, uh, I, I went to another company, continuing my cloud journey with Azure and uh, GCP. Yeah. At the same time, I started teaching as an adjunct professor at the University of Texas at Dallas. So, so that that's also building up, you know, all the the book, right? So, so from from yeah. uh, working in the cloud towards, you know, um, teaching, and then uh, I, I had the uh, thinking that you know we needed to uh, expand our teaching in the classroom to everyone on earth. Right, something wow. like self-taught in a cloud computing, so that oh, everyone yeah. can follow the book and practice using the um, you know uh, free tier account, right? Mm -hmm. So that uh, you know they can learn the cloud computing by themselves. So that that's the uh, uh, intention and and the idea of the book. So I love that because so I work for example uh, I as I'm a, as a consultant, right? And so I have various customers. For example, I'm working with major uh, uh, public sector customers, and there they would have, you know, plenty of seasoned IT veteran people who had been working in IT for you know 25 years or more, right? Like they know all the things about IT except about cloud, uh, because being in public sector, they haven't been able to touch that for reasons, right? Uh, various reasons that has not been on their uh, on their agenda. But now they are moving, they are going there. So I think that there is a, a potentially a huge market for people to uh, upskill and learn. Let's say that they still have, you know, I'm still gonna probably work in IT for another 20 years. I need to learn about cloud computing now. Um, I have IT skills, but I don't have cloud skills. So is that like the the, the sweet spot here? <laughs> Exactly, you got yeah. it right on, right on. So, so uh, you know, it, it's tran transformation, right, from yeah. traditional IT to cloud computing and machine learning, even in the cloud, right. So, mm. so those things really, it's um, it's difficult because you know, how do you boot 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 start, right? Because yeah. you're, you know, I mean, a lot of uh, traditional IT uh, per people, right? They're 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 well paid, they're highly skilled in the traditional IT, yeah. but. Right. How do you jump start to the cloud? Right. Yeah. So that was really my, uh, you know, my uh, I I had experienced in 2006. I mean, uh, 2016, really, uh, when, yeah. when I jumped to AWS. Yes. But there's a lot of with with this what you're describing now. I I understand that there's a lot of uh, mindset stuff here because unfortunately I see um, quite often I see. Um, people who uh, maybe aren't so motivated to making a, a change, uh, feel disillusioned, maybe feel excluded from this cloud thing. It seems like just young hotshots doing cloud stuff. Um, what about me? I feel middle-aged over the hill or whatnot, and I, how can I change? Uh, I'm not maybe so motivated. What do you, like, how do you, you were saying stay hungry, stay foolish. I love that. Maybe not everybody feels hungry and foolish. Uh, like, what do you do? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Actually, uh, there is another thing is, uh, you know, your career path, right? Uh, yeah. Exactly. What's the motivation? What is it, right? So, yeah. so how, why we should uh, stay in the cutting edge technology? That, that's exactly, you know, I, I want to tell everyone that, you know, it's rewarding. It's a rewarding journey to transform to the cloud. Right. So mm -hmm. I had uh, uh, stayed in the traditional IT industry for about 20 years. Right. So so from, mm -hmm. you know, Unix administrator, database administrator, networking to uh, uh, a senior architect and an advisory uh, solution architect. Yeah. However, within eight years after I jumped into um, cloud from uh, 2016 to now. Right. I grew up as, uh, you know, a technical account manager to a principal architect, director, mm. chief architect. So you see that, you know, the the cutting edge technology domains, right? They're, mm. they're new and they don't have a lot of people there, right? So opportunities are right there. You, you yes. think about, you know, eight years, it's, it's a jump. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a booming career per se. Yes, it is. It, it very much is because I, I see this a lot that there are not enough um, highly skilled cloud people or 
people with experience of using cloud platforms, uh, not to meet the current demand. And the, the result of that, the consequence of there not being enough people is that you move anyway as a company. You still move, but now you don't have the right manpower to do it. You can't hire them because they're already engaged otherwise. And you don't, your own people who are IT people, like they're technical people, right? They should be able to do this. Are, do not have the skills uh, for this. So I, I've always impressed how important it is to have a skills development um, part of the strategy when a company moves to the cloud. Yeah. Would you agree? It, yeah, exactly. Everything is actually supply and demand. This is a marketing, right? <laughs> you know? so, so, yeah, so the new uh, technology, advanced technology areas, less supply them. Right. Mm -hmm. So so that's why we should, you know, come back like stay hungry, stay foolish. Right? Yeah. Keep ourselves, yeah, lifetime learning, right? L lifetime Thanksgiving. Also. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And and so how do you like do you have any any advice on how to how to approach this beast? I mean, if you are not have if you don't have any cloud skills, it, I'm sure it feels daunting. It's okay to answer by the book. That's 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 a valid answer. <laughs> So, uh, right, book is definitely a step-step -step guidance, uh, you know, sure. but uh, in a nutshell, I think, you know, two things. One is learning the knowledge and uh, as, as IT, you have to do the hands-on, right? So, so you know, that's why uh, Amazon, uh, Microsoft and Google, they provide um, free tier accounts or some yeah. kind of credits for, for everybody to right. practice. Yeah. yeah. And, and also, so it, speaking only for, for example, Azure in this case, uh, when you buy licenses from, uh, from Microsoft for uh, developer essentials and various things to be able to use uh, IDEs like Visual Studio, et cetera, uh, that also comes with uh, an Azure subscription where you have a monthly spend of, depending on the size of, of your, uh, of your uh, license but you have a monthly spend to just do something with, to train, to learn uh, that is yours. And then, you know, in some companies, they allow you to use that for whatever you want to use it for. And, and in some companies or quite a few companies, they even disallow to use them, which is kind of funny <laughs> because it's already yep. paid for, yep. right? Yep. But yep. The, the point is that there is free access to use the cloud platforms from all the major clouds. Yep. Fortunately, yeah. all the major uh, cloud service provider, we call them CSPs, they, they are very friendly. They are very, you know, they're providing everything we want to help people to learn. That, that's why, you know, yeah, that, that's why the book came and also, you know, part of that is yeah. working together with the, uh, the CSPs. Yeah, again, supply and demand, right? They want more uh, engineers to know about their cloud platform and therefore choose to use that and consume the services uh, down the road, which is going to give them money. So. Yeah, exactly. We always say that uh, you know uh, the ocean is deep, right? It's 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 and and then the sky is even higher, right? <laughs> so, but, but whatever we can do is just you know have have our own, our own uh, you know mindset that's yeah. set to the to, to the learning stage and and build our own successful career path. Yeah, yeah. So in in um in this journey, um, which are some steps to take to move this along for a, a you know prospective person who wants to learn about cloud what? yeah I, I think first of all uh you have to be determined right you, you know transition from a well-established mm -hmm. you know uh, career let's say traditional it yep. you know moving to the cloud moving to you know machine learning moving to the big data processing in the cloud uh, uh, you know everything is there in the cloud right and yeah. it's the trend uh, but i was actually so shocked when i joined aws and saw the uh, cloud usage you know the the the, the invoices and, and all these things uh, yeah. you know it's, it's just it's just crazy amazing how many people are using cloud big enterprises moving to the cloud so yeah, it, yeah that's the future um definitely your, it, it up your mind. Yeah. Yep. Yep. so i guess there a thing that comes to mind for me is how a company um, that is interested in doing a cloud journey. And they, of course, want to, as a company, 
to, to go about this in the most efficient possible way, uh, not to be wasteful, and it needs to be fast, it needs to be agile, and all these lovely values that we hear about the cloud. What I think that they should focus on a lot is to make it clear for the employees that this is the strategy, this is where we are going. And then as much as possible, in my opinion, try to help and establish processes and I don't know what you need, study circles, anything you need to, to uh, help the employees along, to raise that motivation for them uh, and be inclusive, I think. Sure, yeah, that, that's from employee point of view, right? But yeah. from our own point of view, you know, we needed to we need to uh, jump ourselves. I mean, yeah, know, it, it, yeah, the, the the market is right there, right? You know, I mean, uh, if this employee, uh, this this company does not provide uh, the cloud environment, then another one must be, right? So, yeah, it, that's for sure. That's for yeah. sure. It's it's yeah. it's like that. Um, every company wants to look attractive uh, to um, good, uh, skilled engineers, uh, salary is one thing that's great, but we know that we can get a good salary as, as strong engineers, we can probably get a good salary in many different companies. So we need additional value. Yeah, so so cloud computing, you know, different from traditional ones, it's it's scalable, right? It's mm -hmm. uh, it's like you know uh, we usually use the uh, the the idea of a pet versus a a a, 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 a you know a, a, a herd a herd of uh, of cattle, right? So yeah. traditionally, you know, a server, a database is 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 a, is, is, a, is a pet, right? So if the mm -hmm. pet is you know has sick, people are, are sad, and then we want to do everything to rescue the pet, but. Yeah. You know, with with the with the cloud computing, it's 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 a herd of cattle. You know, if, if one is dead, we kill it. We have another one because it's 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 a group of you know uh, EC2 instances for say, right? So so yeah. if you know, it's it's elastic, it's it's scalable, it's highly mm -hmm. available. That, that's the idea. That's that's, that's the that's idea. idea. Yeah. And, yeah. and there's there's lots of um, uh, interesting things to understand about that mind shift from traditional IT where the IT budget is a fixed post of buying many servers, putting metal into racks and, and wires, uh, as opposed to, to cloud computing, where that uh, hardware factor is essentially removed, or mostly removed. Uh, uh, absolutely. Yeah. 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 So so the other shock I had when I ent uh, joined AWS at uh, uh, 2016 is that, uh, you know, I, I was I was seeing my co-worker, he used a laptop, you know, run a cloud formation script and build a virtual data center in Asia Pacific within a couple of hours. That's yeah. amazing. You know, I, I came is. from the traditional IT, right? It took years, you know, weeks, yeah. months, years to build a data Indeed. center. Yeah, that is that is truly impressive when when people are skilled like that and can do those things. Um, that just makes you look kind of magical, especially to people coming from a pre-cloud, um, you know, um, reality, if you will. Yeah, and, and the, the process is repeatable, immutable. You know, it's it's infrastructure as code, IAC, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. So there are some 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 um, important things to focus on to understand mind mind shifts wise and i agree with you that it seems appropriate to um to to get down to actually doing some of these things like step by step really do it uh to to start to understand how that that thing works yeah so it's everything you know the cloud will be in your mindset <laughs> yeah, for sure and so this this book is about that uh about um you know staying hungry uh, getting motivated um and going towards uh a a more cloudy uh career part uh, of your career journey yeah and, yeah. and i want to share a little bit of secret that we're actually working in on another book uh, it's it's cloud architecting so uh you know it's uh it's 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 something we're, we're thinking about right now so nice very nice well looking forward to that so i Truly, I, I very much appreciated that you wanted to come on this show today and having a, a bit of a conversation here with me about um, the curiosity of learning and about uh, becoming a cloud engineer rather than just a regular old IT engineer. Cloud is much better, right? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for having me here. I wish, uh, you know, more and more people uh, jump into the cloud and, and, and uh, for yeah, sure. benefits, yeah, for the company yeah. for themselves. Couldn't yeah. agree more. Thank you very much for being on the show today and guests, uh, audience. Thank you for, uh, for watching and I'll see you next time on the cloud show. Take care.